Hi everyone, we're here today to announce the beginning of a new program here at CrossFit Garden City. Um, it's going to be something that's getting started here in the next few weeks. Um, it's going to start out by kind of altering the program that we currently offer here in our regular classes. Um, and the intention ultimately is to start offering it as a separate class. Uh, the class is going to be called fitness. Um, we'll kind of explain the distinction between um, what fitness represents and what our performance class is going to represent. Uh, but the idea behind our fitness class is for it to be kind of an in-between uh, of our foundations program and our regular CrossFit classes. Um, so it's going to be beginner friendly. It's going to be a class that someone with any um, you know legitimate experience with exercise would be able to just jump right into um, prior to having to do any kind of foundations program. It's also going to be beginner friendly in the sense that uh, if those of you that have already been doing our CrossFit classes are feeling a little bit overwhelmed or still slightly intimidated by the complexity of some of the movements that we do, uh, by some of the loading that we use in the workouts, um, and just the pace of regular class, and you just would like a little bit slower pace, a little bit more instruction, it's going to be accessible to you guys as well. Um, and we'll kind of talk about who we think it would be appropriate for in a second. Uh, so like I said, the, 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 pla the class is going to be primarily instructional uh, in nature. It's still going to be uh, we're still going to be performing workouts, um, so that's of course going to be an aspect of it, but we are going to ensure that everyone that's in the, those classes receives instruction as though it's their first time performing, especially in the more complex exercises with barbells. Uh, so we will per be performing moderate weight training, you know, so in our regular classes sometimes we'll say, okay, build up to a three rep max in a movement, build up to a five rep max, sometimes even potentially build up to a one rep max. Uh, so usually the rep schemes we follow for our strength training is five reps or less um, to, to be more accommodating to people that are new to weight training. The rep schemes that we utilize in our fitness programming are generally going to be higher. So it's going to be a little bit more moderate in loading uh, and moderate in rep scheme as well. So we're probably going to be more along the lines of like six to 12 repetitions as a general prescription for that stuff uh, and really allow people to emphasize proper technique, uh, moderate loading, and then proper volume to get stronger. Um, the conditioning, we are going to be performing conditioning workouts just like we do in our regular CrossFit classes. Uh, we will probably eliminate some of the more complex movements from those workouts uh, simply because if you don't have proficiency in those things and you don't scale them properly, oftentimes it just leads to you having to stop or slow down and take away from the intended benefit or the intended stimulus and effect of the workout that we prescribe. Uh, so we'll sort of strip away some of the more complex stuff, save that for instructional work in that class and allow you to move through those workouts and receive the benefit that we want to have you receive. Um, now we're going to initiate this program by first uh, rather than adding a new class to the schedule, which will be coming in the next few weeks, but rather start offering a fitness option as part of our regular workout of the day. So now when we start posting the workouts, uh, there'll be two options presented. There will be days where both fitness and with the other option is going to be called performance are performing the exact same workout, but there will be times where they're performing similar but different kind of prescription for the workout. Um, now, the fitness programming, what this, is, this list is designed to give you an idea of who we think it would be appropriate for. If you kind of start nodding your head as I go through some of this stuff and you're like, yeah, that, that sounds a little bit like my situation, then we do strongly encourage you to consider this in the coming weeks as we start offering it as an option in class. Uh, so first and foremost, someone that has less than six months of CrossFit experience uh, with no previous high-level athletic background, um, that would be an appropriate place um, to start with these workouts um, rather than jumping into our regular programming. And six months is kind of an arbitrary number. You may have been doing CrossFit for more than six months and still feel like a beginner on some level. Um, so certainly that could stretch out to nine months to even possibly less than a year of experience. If you regularly scale or modify our workout of the day, uh, now just to be clear, the workout that we post on a daily basis is designed to challenge the strongest and fittest athletes in our gym. Um, and really even for that matter, people that uh, don't even train in our gym. So think about some of the strongest and fittest athletes in the world is who we're trying to challenge with the prescription that we offer. Um, so 
first and foremost, most of the people in our gym should be scaling the workouts on a regular basis. Um, and we'll have kind of an, an at the whiteboard discussion in the next week or so um, discussing that exact topic of scaling. Uh, but certainly if you, if you find yourself heavily scaling the workouts, having to modify you know, a majority of the movements on a regular basis, having to heavily scale down the weights that are prescribed for the workouts, um, which is a great thing. Uh, don't certainly don't think that, that, that there's any shame in that at all. That's an appropriate thing for most people to be doing on a regular basis. Um, but if you find yourself having to do that fairly regularly and heavily scaling everything, then those fitness options are going to be appropriate perhaps for you as well. Uh, if you train once or twice or less than that per week, this would be an appropriate option for you to consider as well, simply because you know our, our regular programming, it's, it really, it really uh, is built around the idea that you're committing to the program on a three to four, potentially even five time a week basis. Uh, and that's, you know, the skills that we practice need consistent exposure. And it's assumed that you guys are showing up that frequently um, to see the progress that we want to see and to be able to handle the demand of the workouts. But if you're simply able to not, not able to come that frequently and you're only showing up once or twice a week or even less perhaps, then that fitness programming option is going to be a great thing to consider as well. Um, if you have some kind of orthopedic issue, and that could be in the form of you know, a pre-existing injury, um, a previous injury that never really healed properly, that you always kind of have to nurse and, and, and have a sense of vulnerability with that, um, like you know, a previous back injury, for example, that you know, is never really going to fully heal would be one example, um, or like a locked up ankle that just won't seem to move the way that you want it to move ever. Uh, those are a couple things, you know, people that have like wrist issues, significant wrist issues, have a lot of trouble with some of the movements that we do on a regular basis. Uh, so the fitness programming would be something to consider for that as well. If you're returning, uh, and, and just to, to go back to that, if, if, if you don't have any pre-existing injury, but you're currently dealing with an injury that you sustained, whether it was at the gym or outside the gym, um, and you're trying to kind of nurse yourself back in and get back into the workouts without uh, exacerbating that injury or, or re-aggravating something, then that fitness programming option is going to be a great thing to consider and allow for you to continue training through that injury. Uh, returning from a long layoff or returning from an injury that you sustained where you had to stop training for even, let's call it, three or four weeks, um, I would strongly consider, I mean, in a situation like that, you really have to be careful not to just kind of jump right in head first and attack the workouts the same way that you were previously. Your body, uh, your joints, your tendons, everything needs a little bit more time to acclimate again. I mean, psychologically, you might be in the same place that you were when you left, uh, but physically, you need a little time to adapt again. So starting out with that fitness programming is going to be a great thing to consider. And then, uh, you know, if you're here and, you know, quite frankly, you don't, you don't, keep track of your, your times, you don't keep track of the weights that you use for workouts, uh, you don't know what your one rep max numbers are when we prescribe that type of stuff, uh, you're not interested in your time in the workout that day, uh, you don't care about beating the person next to you, you're not here for the performance aspect of, of what we do, you're not here because you're interested in competing in CrossFit competitions. Uh, you're here for general wellness, you're here to feel better, improve the quality of your life, um, you know, burning it down every day out there is perhaps, you know, maybe even a little bit more stress than you can handle in your life, uh, then our fitness programming and potentially even the fitness class, when we add it to our schedule, is going to be a great thing for you to consider. Um, certainly, we do want you guys to take your fitness as seriously as possible, it's something that we consider to be you know, of, of utmost importance in terms of priority, uh, but for those of you with families and jobs and other priorities in your lives, we recognize that this might just be uh, you know, a schedule on your busy calendar of appointments for the day uh, and you do it to, to escape for an hour and feel good and sweat. Um, you know, we certainly acknowledge that that might be your reality and your situation and we're not going to try to force uh, you know, any of our notions of what fitness means onto, onto, your, onto your plate. Um, and so if, if that's your situation, if some of that kind of stuff is resonating with you, then the fitness programming is going to be perhaps, again, something appropriate to consider. And then even potentially the fitness class 
would be something that you might find yourself in once we add it to the schedule on a regular basis. Um, so certainly guys, just be on the lookout for this stuff. I figured it would be easiest to explain it through this format as opposed to uh, written down in an email or on a website. But we will be putting out more information about when it's going to get going and some of the other details regarding it. If you have questions or would like to chat or discuss it, please feel free to reach out to me, Dennis at CrossFitGardenCity.com. You can grab me anytime you're at the gym and we run into one another and certainly ask whatever questions you might have. But uh, just stay tuned and be on the lookout for it as we'll be releasing more information soon. And uh, I'll be back shortly, hopefully, uh, this week with another video on that topic of scaling. Uh, so be on the lookout for that as well. Thank you, guys.